Diana, you're in Queens chasing a story about a series of fires that the cops suspect arson, but they don't know who is doing it. What do you got? Take a drive around this section of Forest Hill, Queens, and one thing I can promise you'll see, lots of construction. Homeowners building their dream homes, others simply rebuilding what was destroyed. Just take a look at this home in back of me. You can see it was a construction site burned to the ground, and the neighboring property, even itself not escaping it, you can see the flame marks on the side of that home. It's one of at least five properties becoming the target of an unknown arsonist back in November. Nearly a month later, there's still no sign of who did it or why. But what you can see are lots of signs posted around town asking for help. There is a reward for a person to, who's going to give some information, but uh, it seems like nobody uh, wants to give up those even for 62,000. <laughs> Local Michael Yakbov is one of many residing in this area from Bakarian Jewish descent. He tells me about his community and he also tells me what he believes is the motive behind these fires. A lot of houses was built for big families and uh, unfortunately this opinion was not accepted by the neighbors. Now the criticism associated with this new construction described by Mr. Yakbov is nothing new. As you can see, the homes often press the limits of local zoning regulations towering over adjacent properties and possibly angering those who live in them. So I took my questions to an expert in arson investigations, Glenn Corbett at John Jay College, and here's what he says about the recent events. The person or people behind these fires uh, perhaps have gained a little bit of celebrity status because it's been reported in the news so many times. It's a cat and mouse game that they're playing basically perhaps with the fire marshals. Corbett also says arson is one of the more challenging uh, crimes to solve because of the lack of evidence. But he also says most arsonists trip up eventually and it could sometimes take a year or two to find a culprit, but he believes that person will eventually get caught. Diana, is it the same construction company? It's random construction sites, but they were all building a similar type of home. Have the cops discussed the possibility of uh, they've got these eco terror groups that are out there that for years the FBI reported on, you know, new home sites being burned down and, you know, people opposing development. So this I isn't a, a set of wetlands, though. Look, yeah. it's Queens. Doesn't, no, no, no. But no, but I'm saying the FBI has reported on these eco terrorists that burn down new construction homes just because they oppose human development. Yeah, well, police ha haven't really been talking about a motive. They really have stayed out of that. They've just been asking for anyone with information to contact them through Crime Stoppers. Thanks, Diana. Yeah. <laughs>